Well, hey guys, Dave Anderson, Heli Cools, Helipad. Hey, uh, you know, about a month ago, I put out a poll. Not this kind of poll. But I put out a poll on YouTube to see what you guys wanted to see in the videos. And you told me that you wanted to see more collaboration videos with other FMTV owners. So you asked for it, you got it. Here is another collaboration video just for you. On a side note, I also put out a video a couple of months ago that says, if you have a product for the LMTV and you'd like to get it out to the masses, let me know about it. If I really think that it is worthy for our community as a whole and is really going to do something great for our community, I would definitely think about doing some marketing stuff for you. And I actually had some folks take me up on that offer. So not only am I knocking out the request that you guys wanted with more collaboration videos with other FMTV owners, but I'm also doing the request of doing some marketing to help out the community. If there's one thing that I am highly supportive of, it is this FMTV community. I make all these videos to make sure that you can kind of keep your FMTV running as best as you possibly can. Some of the things, the issues that I have, I'm sure that some folks out there are gonna have those very same issues. And I'm also into getting the best value out of the products that you buy. So stay tuned. We're gonna have a couple of videos on this next collaboration build because it is so epic and such a game changer for this FMTV community and the Overland Expedition camping community as well. You guys stay tuned. Day one of the collaboration build with Bill Sands started off, even if I had breakfast already, I could act like a hobbit and have second breakfast if I wanted to. And then I got to tour the facility where all of the parts were cut out for the zero torsion subframe. They're all laser cut and press braked right here at this facility. It's quite an amazing shop of precision, to say the least. It's no wonder when I look across a finished subframe, just how absolutely straight and level it is. It's just amazing. These machines are just, they're over the top fantastic. <laughs> I just had a great time looking at all of this stuff and just with my jaw half gaped open, it was, I was just in awe. I also thought it was cool that this shop is only two buildings away from where all the welding is completed at Clackamas Metalworks. We started the day marking the floor so that the extrusions inside the floor could be easily located after the habitat was fully assembled. And then we put the floor on the subframe so that we could not only center it on there, but could also use the laser cut bolt holes already in the subframe cross members to mark the bottom side of the floor to locate where to drill the holes for placing the attaching hardware. Bill son Mason was a champ at marking these holes. And the holes, almost if by magic, also lined up with this flat bar, which was also threaded to accept a bolt. We then drilled out the marks we made straight up through the bottom of the aluminum extrusion. After we thoroughly cleaned out the floor extrusions, Bill cut some all threads so that we can thread those into the flat bar that we slid inside the floor extrusions. The short pieces of all thread provide a temporary positioning feature to keep the flat bar in the correct location and will also provide a locating feature when the habitat is placed back on the subframe when it is fully assembled. Two and a half inches for glue. 
All right, so here's a cross-sectional view of a corner assembly. And what you can see here is a variety of things. Of course, the thermal brake, the glued pockets that we're going to put glue, the Sikaflex in, glue capture pockets, or optional glue pockets, a wire channel. This is for the 8020. It'll be a corner cap that's gonna come here. Glue channels for the vertical walls, load bearance channels for the wall to sit on. And that also lightens it up, but keeps everything strong. If you haven't already, you can begin to see why I've called this build epic. It is a total game changer, and these aluminum extrusions are no joke. You certainly can't do this with a plastic protrusion frame. We dry fit everything on and left a quarter inch gap between the tape and the extrusion. It will aid us later further on in the process. The corner caps are so slick. Made out of plate aluminum and 8020 compliant, they just bolt right on. This is engineered for the right thermal expansion, the right thermal properties. So this aluminum extrusion and this high density PIR polyisocyanate foam has the same thermal expansion, almost identical. So as much as this is going to grow and shrink with temperature ranges, so will the foam. So the whole system will actually grow and shrink together. The other part about it is you notice there's no organic material. So everything in here, submergent water. Condensation doesn't matter, submergent water. Now that everything is dry fit and perfectly square, it's time to clean and put on some glue. You wanna make sure you have clean surfaces. Get lint-free alcohol wipes. So when you wipe the parts down, you don't get any lint or any kind of residue. Give it time to dry before you stick it on. One other thing, I'm lazy, just had carpal tunnel surgery. I invested in a DeWalt gun. Just call me lazy, call me injured, call me whatever you want. I recommend it. Oh yeah! <laughs> One of the reasons why this habitat takes only three days to build is because there's a lot of waiting around for glue to set. This wasn't the end of day one, but it seems like a good place to break off this video, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. We'll pick up day one next time on Helicool's Helipad. Hey, I told you it was epic. Hey, you know, I've done reviews on this channel before, and this is no different. It's really, really amazing, some of the work that we were doing. And I really appreciate Clackamas Metalworks for letting us borrow their shop. That was really cool. Thanks so much, Preston. And thanks, Bill, for getting me breakfast and lunch. I so much appreciate that. Thanks for coming along. I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there, and God bless.